Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to install the latest version of MinGW which is MinGW W64 and MCS2. Then we will see how to build a C++ file using MinGW W64 and finally how to build a C++ file using make and make file. So the first step is to go to the navigator and to type MinGW. Then here I will go to this link which is at MinGWW64. So let's click on this. Then in this page I will click on downloads. And in this list I will click on MCS2. And now I have to click on this link. So in this page, I have to download the installer of MCS2. So let's click on this. Now we have to save this installer, but in my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the installer that I have already downloaded. Then I have to follow these steps. So I have to run the installer and then when I install MCS2 on my computer, I have to respect this constraint. So as you can see here, the installation folder should not have accents and should not have spaces. So let's go to the installer, which is this one, and let's run it. Then in this window, I will click on next. Then I will accept this installation folder, then next then next again and now I have to wait for the installation to finish now the installation finished successfully so I will keep this box checked then I will click on finish now let's go back to the website and let's uh, follow the second step so in the second step we have to run this command so let's copy it and let's paste it here. Now I have to type Y. Now I have to close this window and to open it again. So to open this window again, I have to go to the location where I installed uh, MCS, which is this folder. Then I have to run this uh, executable file. Now let's go back to the website to follow the next step. So the next step is to run this command. So let's copy it and let's paste it here. And now the following step is to install MinGW W64. So let's copy this command. And let's paste it here. Let's hit enter and enter again. Now let's type Y. And we have to wait for the download and the installation to finish. This will take uh, some time, depends on the internet connection speed. Now the installation finished successfully, so I will close this window. And now it is necessary to add the MinGW binary folder and MCS2 binary folder to the system environment variable. So let's go to the location where I installed MCS uh, on my computer, which is this folder. Now I have to go to the location of the binary folder of MinGW, which is here. Then this is it. 
the folder that I should add to the system environment variable so I will make a copy of this uh, path so I will copy it and now I will open the system window and in this window I will click on advanced system settings then here environment variables then I have to select the path variable which is this one then edit and at the beginning of this variable I will paste the path to provide it with the highest priority of course I should add this semicolon to separate the different values then I have to go back to the folder and to go this time to the location of the binary folder of MCs. so I have to select user or USR then bin so this binary folder contains the make tool and other Linux like tools so I will copy it and I will add it to the path variable so always I will go to the beginning of this variable and I will paste the path to provide it with the highest priority of course I have to add this semicolon then ok then ok ok again then let's close this window now let's create a folder on the desktop to create a C++ file so I will create a folder called project1 then inside this folder I will just make a copy of a file that I have already prepa prepared which is a C++ file which contains this simple C++ code so to build this file I have to copy this command and now I have to open the command prompt from this project so in this uh, uh, location I will, cop I will write cmd and in this window I will paste the command so now let's hit enter to build the file and as you can see this is the executable file it has been created now, now let's execute this executable file so I will type main.exe and this is the output now let's build this C++ file using make and make file so I will uh, copy here the make file that allows me to build this uh, C++ file and then in this window I will just uh, run the following command so I will just make uh, I will call make clean and as you can see the executable file has been removed then make so this time the executable file has been created again so let's run it and as you can see this is the output so this is the end of this video I hope it is useful for you please subscribe to the channel